Hi everyone, this is Estherlina, and this is my special Jurassic World inspired DIY room decor. Jurassic Park has been one of my favorite movies since I was a little girl, and I guess that, in part, I have to thank what I am today to it. So let's say that this is my small tribute to this amazing saga. The first DIY is this super cute dino pillow. It's super easy! You will only need a pillowcase, a pencil with an eraser on the top, paint in the color of your choice, somewhere to create the shades, and a dino stencil. Just print it and cut it. You can do any dinosaur shape you want. The first step is to protect the back part with some newspaper, and then, with some needles, pin the dino stencil wherever you want. Once you have it pinned, we are going to create the color shapes. And then, with the eraser of our pencil, we are going to start making dots all around the stencil, moving from the darkest color to the lighter one. This might take a while, so put your favorite YouTube show on and just have fun! Let it dry completely before removing the stencil. And then, you only have to put it into your pillow and voila! Yup, it's that simple! I had so much fun doing it! It was even relaxing! The next one is this awesome 3D dinosaur footprint box, aka Dino Box. For this, you will only need a wood box, some polymeric clay, and a dinosaur footprint that you can easily find on the internet. First, we are going to create the footprint. We are going to glue the image to a stronger base, maybe some cardboard, and just cut the outside part. Once you have the footprint, we are going to make the base with the polymeric clay. So with the help of a cylinder, we are going to make a flat square that fits the lid of the box. Then, what we are going to do is to press the footprint into the clay. Strongly put carefully, and then slowly remove the paper pole. During this process, the polymeric clay will lose a little bit of its form, so we are going to reshape it first, and then put it into the oven. Once it has completely cooled down, we will glue it to the lid of the box. If you don't want your log to be painted, it's time to remove it and put it into the safety plate. Like seriously, don't lose any of the mini nails you have on it. Then just give it a couple of coats in the color you prefer and when it's completely dry, you can reassemble the log. You're ready to use your awesome dino box! Yay! And now, my favorite. Seriously, when I first saw this DIY, I didn't expect to turn that awesome. I love it, it's super cool, and trust me, it looks amazing. For this Jurassic canvas, you will need obviously a canvas, two different color sprays, some glue, and the shape you want to put on it. Just print the template on a paper, and with a lot of patience and an exacto knife, cut the shape and the holes. On the canvas, we first need to create the base color. So with a lighter spray, we are going to give it an even coat all over the canvas and then let it dry. Once it's completely dry, with our glue, we are going to glue the shapes, but we want it to be completely glued, especially at the edges, so be generous with the glue in that part. Now that you have everything glued down, we are going to give a coat with the second color all over the canvas and again, let it dry really well. Okay, now it's time to peel the dinosaur to rebuild the beautiful shape we have behind it. It was surprisingly easy to remove the paper. I was a little bit scared to see if I rimmed my first coat, but uh -uh, not at all, just perfect. Since I tend to overcharge things with too much decorations, this time I decided to keep it simple. But seriously, I love it. It looks just amazing. All these DIYs are super simple and affordable, and they are just so adorable! If you haven't had enough yet, this is an special, which means that there will be another video with the rest of the DIYs that you haven't seen in this one, so hit that subscribe button for more exciting videos that are coming up soon!
Also, like this video and leave me in the comments below which dinosaur would you like to have as a pet. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you the next time. Bye!